Howdy, super students, and welcome to another exciting week of learning. This week, we're going to be using uh, Office.com, Office 365, Microsoft 365, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's basically Microsoft's online version of Google, Google Docs, Google Slides, and all those. So we're going to be working in that exclusively this week and probably next week. We're going to be covering a couple of things. Since we can't use the desktop version of Office like we do in Classroom, this is going to be our, our stand-in. And it is a little bit different, and uh, some of the features are not included, as you would see in the desktop version. But this will give you an overview of basically how it is, unless you've never used it before. Some, some of you have used this before, could be review. A lot of people have not gotten into this because we're a Google-centric school. Uh, the Microsoft tools are not used as much. So we're going to do this just more as a kind of a proof of concept, kind of just a familiar, familiarization type of process in the next week or two. So not really hard assignments, just basically going to work you through some, some basic tasks, make sure you can do it, and a couple of assignments here and there, no big deal. So what we're going to do today, real simple, we're going to upload some files to OneDrive. OneDrive is, Google, is like Google Drive, same basic idea. I think, you know, if you've never heard of this before, just think Google Drive. So the first step is going to be to open a browser, and you're going to open a tab, and you're going to type in office.com. You may have done this previously, no problem. Uh, when you do that, type it in, hit enter. You should see some kind of a screen that says either sign in or it has your name. Or if you've been in it before, this looks very familiar. If you haven't been in this before, you basically have to go through and hit sign in and type in your entire school email address. Okay, not the one that's here, but you know, your student dot something dot something at horizoncolumbus.org. Okay, you're gonna hit sign in. If you don't know your password, message me, you know, Google Hangout me, email me, whatever. I can reset your password very quickly within literally minutes and you can get right into this. So make sure you have your information here. You type your password, hit sign in. What you should see is what's coming up on my screen here. You should see a collection of the online office apps. OK, so it should have your initials up in the corner. If you click this, it should say it should have your full email address here. Okay. What you should be seeing on the screen is just like this. You should be seeing Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, okay, and some other stuff. We're not going to be we're going to be doing those. All right. I'm going to erase this real quick. So for today's task, you're going to be exclusively working in OneDrive. Okay. So if you're familiar with the Google. This looks a lot like the Google. You can create a new document, a new spreadsheet, and do anything by clicking Start New. We're going to do that later, but just for today, we're going to be clicking on OneDrive. So click the OneDrive icon. It should show you a collection of documents and files. You may have some things here if you were using the same class. Uh, some of you did use this as a, a storage location, which is great. Uh, so, it, you know, again, it's like OneDrive or uh, Google Drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to click into this documents folder right here. So just literally click documents. And again, you can do new, right? You can do new Word document, Excel document, PowerPoint, and the rest of them. But we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to simply do an upload. So click on documents. So this folder is currently empty. You may see yours also empty. You may see some other things in this. Not important. So we're going to hit upload. Files. Now, these files are the ones that you will find in this assignment in Blackboard. So for instance, if I go back to Blackboard, this is the assignment. You'll see that we have a document, presentation file, a workbook, and a small image, a JPEG. If you were to click on these, it'll ask you where you want to save them. So if you're on a Windows computer or a Mac, most likely it's going to save to the Downloads folder. If you're on a Google Chromebook, you're probably going to need to save these to Google Drive, most likely, or some location, no matter what. Make sure you know where the location is, because when you come back here and you hit upload, okay, as part of the process, we're going to have to know where those are, okay? So where did my upload go? Upload files. Here we go. Okay. So I put mine on the desktop. So what we're going to do is we're going to select document, DOCX, presentation, PPTX, and workbook, Excel file. Now, what I did was I hit the control key and I was able to select multiples. You don't have to do it this way. You can do them single if you want, but if you want to do three of them, you can just click the one and then hold the control key down 
and click another one and another one. And you get all three, okay, no problem. But you can do them individually, no big deal. So you hit open, it should upload those and plop them right in the documents. Again, looks just like Google Drive. We're very familiar with this process, I'm sure. We're gonna go back up to where it says My Files. I'm gonna click on Pictures. Okay, this folder is empty currently, same process. Hit Upload, Files. So we're gonna grab that JPEG image, 25, right? It's a SpongeBob, uh, if you've ever seen SpongeBob, it says, what's more funny that you know what's better than 24? 25, right? So that's what we're doing. So we just hit 25 JPEG, hit Open, okay? And it should have it right here plunked in. There it is. What's better than 24? 25. Okay. Now that's the completion of the upload process. Now to complete the actual assignment in Blackboard, you need to take two screenshots to show that you did this. Okay. So if you're familiar with how we did it in class, it may be a little different on your home computer. It may be a little different on a Chromebook. I will have some directions built into the assignment for your reference. Uh, if you're still having trouble doing screenshots, please consult Google and uh, there's some different ways to do it depending on what kind of device you're using, what kind of keyboard you have. The keyboard at home I have doesn't have the blue buttons like we have in class, but it has a print screen button. So basically the idea, if you're on a Windows machine, you would hit print screen it's on the keyboard, then open Paint 3D, right? So I can do that real quick. I'll just hit my print screen key, okay? Now I'm gonna go to Paint 3D, and you would just hit paste, right? And there's my screenshot. And then you would come up here to menu and you hit save and you just, it doesn't matter what it is. You just need to know where you put it. So I'm going to put it back on the desktop. I'm just going to name it, you know, screenshot one. Okay. Save. That one's done. I can close paint. So you're going to go back to the, uh, so we've done the picture screenshot. Go back to my files, documents. So you want to get a screenshot of this, make sure you did it. So screenshot or print screen on the keyboard. Okay. Paint 3D, you may find that under the start menu as well. Okay, you go down to your, your uh, programs, Paint 3D will be listed under P right here, Paint 3D. And you basically just hit uh, paste when you come back in. And it, it gives you this, you know, whatever you hit for the print screen button. And again, you just hit menu, save. Okay, know where you put it. So we already have one called screenshot. So if you click this one time, it brings up the name again. You can change the name to screenshot.2 or number two, hit save. Okay, you're gonna upload those two files back to the assignment in Blackboard that shows that you're complete, that you did this, and that's it. So again, the whole objective of this is just to make sure that you can get into office.com, Office 365, Microsoft 365, whatever we wanna call it. Uh, Microsoft is changing the name of Office 365 to Microsoft 365 within about a week or two here in April. So we're just going to start calling it Microsoft 365 from now on. So, so the whole exercise here is just to make sure you can get into that utility because we're going to use that for the rest of the week for the different assignments and then on to next week as we do resumes also in Word. So that's it for today. So please email me. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, any hangups with the password, any problems getting into office.com or anything, and I will address it promptly for you. Otherwise, have a great day and see you later. Bye.